Capturing and burying carbon emissions will likely be discussed by oil and gas industry leaders at global climate talks in Azerbaijan. But on a remote island off Western Australia, troubles at a project tipped to be a flag bearer for the technology have many questioning whether it can work at all. The ABC paid for travel on a Chevron chartered plane to access Barrow Island. And here's national energy reporter Daniel Mercer. A monster by name and a monster by nature. The Gorgon gas plant on a remote island off the Pilbara coast is the single biggest resources project ever built in the country. Now, Gorgon plays a central role in providing the energy to a growing Asia-Pacific region as well as to the energy security of Australia. But it's Gorgon's massive emissions that are giving headaches to its owners, led by US oil and gas giant Chevron. To curb these emissions, the company built a multi-billion dollar plant to capture and bury much of the project's carbon. But five years after the plant started operating, barely one third of the promised emissions cuts have been delivered. Technical problems caused by the infiltration of water have plagued operations. Chevron insists the problems can be fixed and maintains the technology works. All studies that you look at, whether it's the IEA or other sources, say that carbon capture and storage must be part of the solution going forward. The role of carbon capture and storage is hotly contested, but many experts say reaching net zero without it is all but impossible. CCS first and foremost is one of the key decarbonisation pathways. For all the backing of carbon capture and storage from industry, critics of the technology remain unconvinced. They say Gorgon buries just a tiny amount of carbon in the global context, while it does nothing to prevent the emissions from the burning of that gas by its customers. The Gorgon sequestration project um, uh, stores around 1.6 million tonnes per annum uh, last financial year and that's around half percent of Australia's uh, annual emissions. Backers say Gorgon's problems shouldn't be confused with the broader potential of carbon capture and storage, but doubters say it's emblematic of all that's wrong with the technology. It's very problematic. It's the wrong type of um, application of CCS. With temperatures rising, pressure is building to prove carbon capture and storage can work. Daniel Mercer, ABC News.